Well, back in the 1950s, there were plans to build a freeway over the Santa Monica Mountains that would have ended at Temescal Canyon and PCH. In tonight's Look at This, KKL 9's Desmond Shaw explains why the $85 million project never got off the ground. Well, take a look at this. We're at the intersection of Temescal Canyon and Pacific Coast Highway. And if you've ever driven on Temescal Canyon, you might notice it's a really wide street, especially peculiar because it's so short. The reason why it is so wide, Temescal was going to be basically the southern end of what would have been the Reseda Freeway. So think of it as a southern extension of Highway 14, where the 14 ends in the Newhall Pass. It would have continued to a slice south through the valley, basically along Reseda, and would have ended uh, at Temescal Canyon here as I uh, pan up towards the Newhall Pass. What's interesting, if you look on a map, Reseda and Temescal Canyon are almost perfectly aligned. Now, this freeway obviously would have plowed right through the uh, Santa Monica wilderness and uh, would have opened up a lot more uh, open space to subdivision. So you can imagine there was a lot of resistance to this. This freeway also would have required demolishing more homes than any other freeway proposal uh, in Los Angeles. But it was really the, the political power of the wealthy people in Pacific Palisades which prevented the Reseda Freeway from ever uh, coming to fruition. I know a lot of folks wish we had another path uh, over the Santa Monica Mountains as a freeway besides the uh, 405, but it never happened. The only clue of what would have been the Reseda Freeway, you're looking at it right here on Temescal Canyon. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. Well, the things we learned. And if you'd like, Desmond, to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.